Today I'm going to be talking about uh, starting a drawing, either figure or a cartoon, uh, whether you should use stick figures or shapes. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years now. Uh, yeah, I've gotten a question from one of my readers, and it goes something like this. I have a question. After I started reading your lessons, I have really gotten into drawing. I am really happy with the progress I have made, though I do get impatient with myself. And I had a question. For a while I've been using a layer method where I start with a stick figure kind of deal, then kind of draw over that, adding more detail with each layer. But lately I found I'm not getting great results, so I tried a more free drawing style. Using a circle to draw a head around, then working the body off of there. And I was wondering if you know that, if that is normal. I mean, I still layer details, but I just don't know if stick or skeletal based works for me. Do you think it may be easier to do it that way? Sorry if my question is so long. I was just trying to work with my brain. All right, so my answer to him was, yes, it's fine. You don't have to draw a stick figure or uh, a stick figure skeleton. In fact, I don't do that and it's never worked out for me. Uh, I start with a gesture and shapes of the direction I want the drawing to go and build off of that. I found the stick figure skeleton to be confusing. If you feel more comfortable drawing shapes than sticks, then so much the better. So that's really kind of my answer to that question. Um, the stick figure question is, is interesting because um, I've never been comfortable drawing like a stick figure uh, of any kind, like a skeleton. Um, there's this book here, How to Draw Marvel, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. And in the book, uh, John Buscema uh, uses uh, this stick figure method as his starting off point. Let's see, where's the other one? Out here. So you can see that there's this stick figures here, and then there's this stick figure here. Okay? So, um, this is one of the first books of drawing that I ever ha gotten, and it's actually really, really quite good. But that stick figure, um, the stick figure method never really uh, clicked with me. I wasn't able to ever figure out how to do it uh, in a way that worked uh, for me. So, um, starting here below, you're going to see uh, me working on on a drawing. So. I'm going to show you how I tend to approach it. You're going to watch me draw this drawing, and it's very, very high, sped up, I understand. So what I usually tend to do is I tend to uh, work with the shapes, uh, uh, just kind of just draw shapes, draw um, the general uh, guidelines as to where I may want to go. I kind of work out the, the general uh, gist of the pose. Not sure exactly where I'm going to be going, um, but, 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 but little by little I, I work out the drawing as I go. So if I don't have a clear picture in my head, I mean the ideal, the ideal is to have a clear picture in your head. Uh, such a clear picture that you can practically, uh, you're just basically projecting the picture onto the page and you're just tracing over it. Now, it is possible to be able to do that. There are guys that are able to do that. There are artists that are able to do that. But it takes a lot more practice. A lot of practice. A lot of that stuff is, uh, a lot of the construction, anatomy, that sort of thing is internalized. Uh, so... Uh, ideally, what you want to do is you want to practice the exterior stuff on paper itself. So you want to actually do the stuff on the on um, on the paper. Uh, learn to do the construction. Learn to do the gesture. Learn to do all the academic things. And little by little, you take away an element and do it in your head instead. Okay, it's not that you don't do it at all. It's that you do it in your head, uh, and that's how you're able to uh, end up with a. Uh, finished product from the start but it takes years and years and years of practice of, of like just teaching your brain to think that way and to work that way 
and it's still also it is um, a lot of all that the fundamentals still is required you still got to learn all that stuff you can't just skip it and go straight to the end so um just to let you know that all the all that uh it's just what i'm doing here in the drawing is the preliminary stuff the the stuff that you do at first uh what i tend to do is i search and i search and i sculpt I sculpt the drawing as if I'm, I, I, I'm, fi I'm finding the, 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 the structure and the rhythms. Uh, I'm searching for the right way to draw the, the, um, the figure, um, that sort of thing. So I'm not using a skeleton because uh, the skeleton is just uh, so internal that I can't, I can't control the external shapes of like the how the thicknesses of the arms, the, the the proportions of the body, that sort of thing. And I'm working digitally here, and so what you're going to see is that once I rough everything out, uh, I tend to really quickly uh, uh, go straight into the final line. And the reason why I go to the straight into the final line uh, in this, even though it's really rough and it's still not quite worked out is because it's digital and with the digital uh, uh, tool uh, you, there's so much more room for um, for error you can mess up and then you just undo or erase and adjust and adjust and adjust so the final line uh, unlike using an actual ink pen uh, that you can't erase uh, you can go back and you're gonna see me just fixing 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 and adjusting and grabbing and yanking and stuff even the final line right uh, but had I been doing this on paper, what I would have done is I would have taken the rough that I had done, the rough gesture and the shapes that I had done, and then put another sheet of paper on top of that. And uh, either with a light box or with a tracing paper, I would have done a final line in pencil. And in pencil, I would have worked out all the kinks. Uh, because like the ink process in digital you could erase and you could adjust and you can do all your um all your fixes that way and then i would have done a final ink layer on top of that but because i'm working digitally uh the pencil line is the ink line so i um i'm i allow myself the leeway of using the tool uh, uh that that i've been given and uh allow myself to mess up all i want and not have to worry about uh, that um, getting it right the first time. All right, so, but that's that's what I would say is just start with what's comfortable to you. Start with perhaps the 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 start with a gesture. Get get the power in there. Get the get the essence of the pose. Um, and at the same time, you can start building the shapes of what you want to work with, and and then afterwards. You could do a tight pencil if you're doing analog, or go straight into ink like I was. Do I'm doing if you're working digitally, and um, that's that's that would be my approach. And I wouldn't necessarily do any kind of skeleton thing be um, un unless that's really comfortable f for you to do. I'm not good at it at all. I never understood it, so it never helped me in any way. All right, so I hope this is helpful. If you found this video valuable, I would like to encourage you to return value for value by becoming one of my patrons over on Patreon. Not only will you encourage me to continue making informative videos that are useful to you, but you get extra perks too. For only a small investment of a dollar a month, you can get all new videos I create months before anyone else gets to see it. Also, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer as a patron, you get priority and I answer your questions first. On top of that, when you're a patron at any level, you become part of a raffle where I send original art via mail to the winner of that month. The higher the, your tier, the better your opportunity to win. Higher tier patrons also get access to any art I do in high res JPEGs and also full access to PSD files to any work I do, including the PSD files of these videos. Currently, there's a huge backlog of downloadable files you can get. So right away, you're going to get quite a lot of bang for your buck. And the more patrons I get, the better these videos will get. The more content I can produce. In other words, the more you benefit. Please consider becoming a patron. Thanks. The link to my Patreon is on the screen and in the description of this video. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.